what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back it's your boy terabyte reacts in the house once again we are getting to the end of slam dunk you guys have informed me that there is no more matches before the end of the anime and i don't know when i'm gonna jump into the manga guys so i'm just telling you guys straight up right now i don't know when i'm gonna get to the manga of slam dunk would be nice if i could jump just jump right into it but um i don't know I don't know when so I can't make no promises I know I'm gonna get to it eventually but right now I'm right now I'm planning to get back into Ippo I'm trying to create the time because I'm trying to get ahead of a lot of the series that we have been doing I started um, um, a lot of you guys should know by now that I'm doing um, Legend of the Galactic Heroes um, so I'm doing that which is um, going great so far a lot of people have been you know s suggesting how I should do it if I should do it in chronological order or I should do it how it was released and stuff like that um, so I'm saying it in this video so if all of you guys are watching this video just so you know I'm doing it in chronological order now I am considering by the time that I'm ready to release it on the channel um, this is one of them that is not going to be on early access so I'm probably going to you know release some of the episodes um, so you can so it so what I'll do is this right so I probably should just make a video and stop talking about this on a slam dunk reaction but okay so just know that I'll do it I'll make a video completely different from this okay so probably just cut this out in the edit but yeah so i'm doing that series i've started i think i don't is it part three or is it part four i think it's part four of jojo's right which is diamond is unbreakable so i'm watching that currently i'm also watching a ton of other series short series that are only like one to two seasons um and i'm going to be releasing those on early access um very soon i'm doing them one at a time so i'm not trying to overwhelm the channel too much so i'm trying to do them one at a time so it's like um you guys saw me do god of high school then promise neverland um and then i'm gonna be dropping another one of those um very soon but it's stuff that are going to be on the channel as a normal basis i'm still working on those so legend of galactic heroes that's not going to be on early access so you don't have to worry about it so when that drop when it's when it drop diamond is unbreakable i'm doing i got back into dr stone and all these series that were suggested all the ones that are really short and i can dust them out basically in you know one or two days sometimes three days depending on how long that's why i was asking about promise neverland season two because i know there were mixed feelings even before i started to react to the series when it was first suggested people were saying that oh they're planning to change the narrative about uh, you know season two but it's not necessarily even the narrative it's a bunch of time skips skipped over a lot of important stuff in the manga that's what i'm hearing now so it's like that that's kind of weird so i probably won't be doing season two because i don't like when any series do stuff like that like you should stick to the original material as much as possible because that's your source material now if you're trying to do something that that's fine you know what i'm saying you're just not gonna get I mean how could you do that why would why would a, a anime studio decide to do something like that like it's so dumb it's so dumb so i will be checking out you know the promise neverland manga at some point um now that i've finished doing season one actually so if you guys want to see my reaction to season one while i'm recording just before i um, started to record this video i released all the episodes on membership they will start Rick, um, you know, day by day on the channel starting on Monday. So if you're watching this and you can't wait until Monday, consider joining the membership on the channel. All 12 episodes already dropped um, for for the Promise Neverland. Incredible, incredible series. So, um, well, season one, that is <laughs> season one. I liked it very much. I gave the season one a nine out of ten for me. There were some, just some little plot holes there that I that I talked about that I think. But it wasn't anything that really ruined it for me or anything like that. It was just that certain things just 
you know what I'm saying? When you're when you're talking about an anime that is grounded, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to compare it to something like, even though Monster is a masterpiece, I'm going to compare it to something like Monster that stayed grounded throughout the way. Nothing seemed impossible. You, you know, The Promised Neverland is not about anything supernatural. Like, the only thing that's really out of the ordinary in that entire series is the 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 demons right eating the the humans right that's the only thing like there's no supernatural powers or anything like that everything just seems very grounded in the real as real as it can be with you know aliens existing or whatever <laughs> as real as it can be like you know what i mean um the technology is very grounded everything so i'm looking forward to seeing more of that um when we read the manga whatever hopefully you know there's so much you know including you know slam dunk that i gotta get into the anime too so currently i'm in two very long series which is berserk and ippo and once i start it i want to be consistent with it because the thing about it is that the reason why i have not gotten back into it yet is because of that because i want the next time i dive into berserk and ippo i'm being consistent with it and i have to find a place in my schedule to put it where i know for a fact i can do it either on a weekly basis or two times a month where i'm consistent 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 not miss it so that's the reason why i really haven't gotten back to that but anyways guys i've talked for too long in this intro you already know let's go watch some more slam dunk man and finish up this series i may do four episodes today i don't know but you already know, I've said I might do two episodes until the series is done. I know that it's only weekends right now. You guys would like to see more, but I appreciate y'all. I appreciate also everybody that has gone over to the backup channel and subscribe and turn on notification. Really do appreciate you guys for doing that. I see the numbers are growing over there. Um, so as I said before, anything that is released on the original Terabyte Reacts channel will be released over there also. Um, so if you want to get notifications, guys, and you're watching this, please go over to that channel and subscribe and turn on all notifications. So you know when I put out Slam Dunk videos, because I know there's not a lot more left, but still, you can still help out that channel to grow. Appreciate you guys. You might want to stay tuned because I will be starting a new sports anime. I don't know which one it is yet, but I'm probably going to be doing, I think it's a baseball one because a lot of people are saying, I don't have to do, what is it, Kuroko no Basket or whatever they call that, that one. Um, I'm probably going to do that at some point though, but people are saying that I shouldn't do it now because it doesn't really fit the channel and the stuff that I like, you know what I'm saying? Like when you're talking about sports anime, we're talking about Hajime no Ippo, great story behind it. it's not just about the fight you get what i'm saying um but I, I, people are saying that you know kuroko no basket and from what i've heard you know what i'm saying people are saying that it's very gimmicky so the, the supernatural basketball kind of stuff you know what i'm saying like they it's like a it's like a shonen sports anime <laughs> so um it's not very grounded it's not grounded like you know slam dunk but we'll see how it goes anyways i've talked for too long let's get into the episodes man and i will see you guys for the review at the end <laughs> yeah, y'all dish it out, but you can't take it, huh? Yeah. <laughs> 
たのも、もう実家になっちまったな。なんせ、笑かしてくれるからな、花道のやつ。この間もダンクしようとして失敗して、リングに頭ぶつけたもんな。<笑>そうそう。超ホクーはいおーいいわよ、視力充実あ,あ,あ,あ,あ,あ、やってるやってる。気合い。よし、やっといてよ。視界停止のレッスンだまずエシウ宮城ルカハスタ野崎エシウこの5人で組んでくれああそして B チームはトグレイ三井桜木安田桑田オッケー俺の相手はルカだな<笑>ギャフも言わせてやるギャフてめえがギャフと言ってどうするちゃんと言われて頭にしてんなふりしてるあっそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそううん、Norman was sick, right? If you guys have watched The Promise Neverland, I'm probably gonna say names you don't know if you never watched it. But there was an episode where there was a flashback when、um, I think it was Norman. Was it Norman that got sick? I was, yeah, I think it was Norman that got sick. And Emma kept trying to go see him, right? He got a cold. And she kept going to see him, and he's. And, Isabella kept asking her, like, why do you keep coming in here? You could catch this cold. We don't want anybody else to catch a cold. And <laughs> she said, <laughs> He's like,、um, She said, Ray told her, or read it in the book. Or, no, no. Ray told her that I think she said she can't catch a cold. And then he came in, and Ray came to the door and was like, I read in a book that idiots can't catch cold. It's so, is that like a thing in Japan? It probably is, right? Because it's kind of weird that I'm seeing the same thing say, they say in this. I guess it's just a saying, it's not actually true that idiots can't catch c o l d It's like, the second time I'm seeing that. That's so weird. I guess that's just like a saying in Japan that idiots can't catch c o l d I wonder why, what they mean by that. I guess it, maybe it's just all in the saying. <laughs> Blocked. <laughs> Rukawa is like, no highlights allowed. <laughs> This man just swatted the ball.
沢体育大学バスケット部監督原沢和夫センターとして僕は僕は彼が神奈川ナンバーワンのセンターだと思います。Well, we all knew that. That's not news. <laughs> Okay. Okay. I don't know, they both possess different skills, so <laughs> I can't say for sure who's, who's, who. I think Rukawa is the more versatile player, if, if you will. Um, I think Rukawa is the better, have better handles. Um, you know, he's more of a triple threat than Mitsui. You know what I mean? Like he's more of a triple threat. So when it comes down to they each bring a different kind of value to the team, in my opinion. But when you're talking about like an ace type of player, superstar type of player, like I think both of them could be in that category as the best. Like Mitsui is money from the three-point line. He's wide open. You know what I'm saying? Like you have to be a really good defender to stop Mitsui because – you know what I'm saying? But the thing about Rukawa, he can he can hit the three. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't shoot it a lot. He's more of a mid-range kind of guy. Um, he's more of a mid-range kind of guy. He can dribble drive. He can do all the things that's required. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He can do all that. He can do all of that. Does that make him a better player than Mitsui? Mitsui is a good defender too. So... Does it make him a a, a a a better player than Mitsui? In my opinion, yes. But at the same time, I want to see this one on one to see. You know what I'm saying? What he has really over to set it in stone. What he has over Mitsui, because really and truly, like I've never really seen Mitsui drive to the basket that much because he's not. He's a shooter. He's a pure shooter. He is. You know what I'm saying? He's a. Uh, He's a Ray Allen, you know what I mean? Like, he, he's, <laughs> he's that type of player. Like, he's a Ray Allen. He's a catch-and-shoot player. Um, doesn't do a lot of dribbling, but if he needs to, he will. You know what I'm saying? But if you if he wide open on the three-point line, it's, it's money. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, he's probably, like, 
somewhere like the high 40s per- percentage shooter um, from three. You know what I'm saying? High 40s, maybe even over 50%. You know what I'm saying? They don't highlight... They, they, early on, they highlighted him a lot. But since they've really been... Since the competition started, they've really concentrated on Rukawa, you know, taking... You know, taking over games, doing all the things that a Jordan-esque type of player you expect from him. You know what I'm saying? And I'm glad that Rukawa is also pushing himself in a way to get better because, you know what I'm saying? Like, he has to challenge himself. And I get it during practice sessions. They know we, we're not friends. You know what I'm saying? I get that. But hopefully he plays some team basketball. One of the things that I don't that I don't particularly like about Rukawa's personality he's got that mamba mentality as in like how Kobe and Jordan used to um used to play but the problem that I had with how they play was that they don't share the basketball man and don't get me wrong they won championships because of how they played and I have no issues with that but the reason why I like LeBron so much is because LeBron shares the ball man he shares the load you know what I'm saying? And maybe, you know, some people will say, you know, probably that's that's the biggest difference. You know, and that's the reason why he's only won four championships out of going to the finals ten times. Maybe a lot of people could probably say that. But at the end of the day, I like how he plays the game of basketball better. Because he makes everybody around him better. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's not to say that Kobe and, and Jordan was selfish. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying, but their assist numbers is not. Um, I think Jordan averaged, I think he averaged like five assists, I think, over his career. If I'm not mistaken, I think, I don't know exactly, could be less than that. But he wasn't known for that. He was a takeover guy. You know what I'm saying? Um, so... He reminds me of those. It's just that when you get to the game, remember you got teammates. That's that's all I'm trying to say because you can't do it all on your own. You just, you can't. You can't do it all on your own. Um, you can be the main guy, but we'll eventually see the results of this. So hopefully for um, the next episode, this one-on-one is going to be epic. Hopefully... I would love if there was some things that Mitsui does that he has a little bit more experience on how to stop a player like Wakawa. Um, So I'm hoping that Mitsui probably shuts him down. Let him get frustrated. You know what I'm saying? Like, let him get frustrated and push himself because it's only going to work out for their better because them going to the national championship, this is the big stage. This is it. So they got to bring their A game. And... If he still believes that he is not, he, you don't want Rukawa to become big headed. You know what I'm saying? Even though he's not right now, as I said, there's some aspects of the game that I don't partic- of his game that I don't particularly like. You know what I'm saying? He's the type of person that takes the load on himself and forgets that there's four other players on the team. And you know what I'm saying? Like he's he's the type of player that. Oh, I got to be the best. I got to be the best. Oh, oh, I'm going up against this player now. I got to take the shot. I got to take the shot. And sometimes it's not about forcing it. Even though you're doing good, you know what I'm saying? Uh, You know, and the coach, the coach wasn't there. So he wasn't able to, you know, and sometimes in basketball, sometimes you really do got to sit a player down and say, hey, you know what I'm saying? You're doing it all. I get it. You're that good. You know what I'm saying? You on fire. Give you the ball. Like, we don't mind doing that. But still remember, though, that you got teammates on the court. You know what I'm saying? So you can't just have people just always sitting in awe watching you. You know what I'm saying? Because there's also a thing called morale. Team morale is very important. You know, so you got to understand that. So in any case, let's get to the next episode.
Told you Mitsu is one of the best defenders on the team. He's a better defender than Rukawa. As a trainer, you're training. Yo, that's crazy. They're the number one school they want Akagi. It's basically, as I said, it's offense versus defense. It's offense versus defense because Mitsu is a better defender. And Rukawa is the better offensive player. So it's... So Rukawa doesn't necessarily need to raise his level of defense to actually defend Mitsui. And Mitsui is already a good defender. And he can defend Rukawa. So, So you're going to concede? Everybody's so surprised when a player passes a player. <laughs> he passed him. <laughs> okay, nice switch up. Double clutch. Is that even possible? Are you kidding me? A double clutch layup if it's possible? I mean, it's not the easiest shot to make, but still. <laughs> the way how they react in this anime is so weird sometimes. It's just like, a double clutch layup is surprisingly good. <laughs> okay. 
this I would love to see. I mean, it would be pretty easy, but <laughs> I'm going to put some faith in my boy Sakuragi right now. I want him to go up against Rukawa, even though I know he's probably going to get washed, but he may put up a fight because he's a really good defender. So let's see. He probably fouling Rukawa the entire time, right? Let's make it take it. I know, right? <laughs> Buckets. Why are you guys so surprised? Have we been watching the same anime? <laughs> I would be laughing my ass off too because why <coughs> Why are you guys so surprised that Mitsui pulled up for three? What did I talk about, man? What did I talk about at the end of the last episode? Who is Mitsui? Mitsui is money from the three-point line. You can't stop him. He he makes those all day, every day. That's why I'm like, why is he trying to dribble? That's not his strength. <clears throat> He's a catch-and-shoot guy. Like, what you see, he just do. That's him. All day, every day, I, I want him to take that shot every time. I don't want to really see Mitsui dribbling into the basket trying to get layups. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? He's the Steph Curry in the anime, man. He's Steph Curry. As I said, he reminds me of Ray Allen a lot. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he's not pulling up from deep like Steph Curry, so he's more of like a, a, a Ray Allen to me or, or Reggie Miller. <clears throat> but those guys was just deadly. You know what I'm saying? From a three-point line. So, that's why I'm like, why are they surprised? Why they, oh, he pulled up from the three-point I was like, have we been watching the same anime, dude? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, they are there every day with this guy. I watched the anime for 90 episodes. And you guys are, what they thought, that's him. I knew he was going to do that because it's like, that's him. That's his, that's his game. Yeah, you know I'm saying I don't have no problem with that. That's that's Mitsui's game all day, every day, man. All day, every day. I love it. I love it. I love that he did that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You were stepping on the line? <laughs> Ruko has lied briefly. <laughs> You didn't see Jack Doodoo. <laughs> Ruko <are> lost. <laughs> 
Surprised. Hey, he's got a point. He's got a point. He's got a point. He's like, yo, we never really played one on one, so you don't really know if you can beat me or not. I still think Rukawa would wash him, but <laughs> I still want to see this matchup, though. Yeah, right. <laughs> if that happens, I'm going to call BS. Really? Really cool. <laughs> I like it. Alright, that is it for today. <laughs> I will talk about it in the review. Yeah. Alright guys, that was episodes 89 and 90. We're getting we're getting there. We're getting there. As I said, um as long as there's nothing going to go on i'm probably going to end up doing two episodes per upload um i had planned to do a couple more episodes sometime this week um for you guys um but i didn't get a chance to because as i said i'm reacting to the stuff that is like i'm trying to get ahead of everything so i have a lot of reactions so i can just kind of take it easy and also find space to start doing my mango readings again so i'm looking um as i said i'm releasing stuff on the channel so if you guys want to see them they're gonna be there blah 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 you know what i'm saying so i'm trying to get ahead so that i can have at so i'm at least like about a couple of weeks ahead of you guys um for everything that i do but these two episodes were really cool um rukawai is growing and that that's pretty obvious i don't know why people are still surprised by when these guys do stuff <laughs> so it's like you know what i'm saying it's still pretty good cool. even when i see double clutch layups in in the nba like it doesn't wow me like that anymore you know what i'm saying like i don't care who does it like even if lebron does it or kd does it or kyrie irving does it it doesn't wow me anymore like i'm the, the things that wow me in the nba today it's like just crazy out of this world dunks like say a john morant you know dunking on a big man you know what i'm saying like those things get me hype like seeing somebody do a double clutch layup you see that almost every night now in the nba so it's it's not surprising you know what i'm saying um it's still cool to see but i'm not going like yo you know what i'm saying like when i see you know somebody get dunked on <laughs> like you know what i'm saying crazy dunks um as i said so that was pretty weird out here acting you know um 
is that the first time that Ruko has done a double clutch layup? Because we see it a lot when they were playing. Because um, Thing there did it a lot. Um, what's his name? <laughs> Sendo did it a lot, right? Sendo did it a lot. Um, I think Maki did it too, if I'm not mistaken. I, I don't remember exactly, but um, but these they did it. You know what I'm saying? So maybe this is the first time that Rukawa did it. And they're like, is that even possible? Are you serious, my guy? Did you really just say that? <laughs> is it? <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> okay. That's what it is. It's crazy. But to see him go up against Mitsui, and I'm like, how you saw his foot on the line, huh? Nobody else saw it but you, Rukawa, for reals? But anyways, um, but that's the thing too. Like people, they were surprised that Mitsui pulled up from three. I'm like, bro, stop. Because <laughs> nobody, if you are one of those people that when you watch this show for the first time, you were surprised when Mitsui pulled up from three, you need help. <laughs> you need help. You know what I'm saying? You need help. Stop it. Get some help. <laughs> like Jordan said, <laughs> you know, um, it's crazy sometimes when I watch when I watch this anime and how it plays out. And I know we're not gonna get to see any matches um, between now, you know, and the end. Um, we'll continue that in the manga at some point. Uh, but it's just great to see. I'm glad that they introduced that aspect of it of him getting recruited, Akagi getting recruited to university that was pretty cool because i thought once high school ball is done in japan that's it i didn't even know that they have university programs over there like i thought that high school was the height of basketball in japan i did i listen i don't know how it works how the circuit works in japan i know it works like that here where you can leave high school go to college um and then go to the nba um or you could leave the high school and go straight to the nba if you're good enough so pretty cool stuff man pretty cool stuff uh, i'm glad that a lot of people you know um i'm glad that they're doing what they're doing now with the anime kind of finishing things up giving us kind of a like a finality to the anime but i also want to know guys as i said during the reaction let me know in the comment section right let me know in the comment section why did toy animation decide to not do the manga did they catch up with the manga and then it was started at again a little later date and they just couldn't get back to it what happened i need to know what happened I'm not, i don't want to look it up for myself <laughs> that's what i have you guys the community for <laughs> for you guys to give me information, give you a chance to interact with terabyte reacts okay give you a chance to interact with terabyte reacts plus i gotta go edit these damn videos so you guys can get them so appreciate you guys man love always thanks always thank you guys so much just remember you guys are finishing this right now you can go and watch the promise neverland episodes episode reactions just drop a membership as i said guys it's only two dollars a month or you can wait until monday when the first episode drops not all 12 is going to drop on the channel at the same time so um we're going to start episode one and i'm dropping one every day and then the final two episodes will drop on the 11th day from monday so yeah <laughs> yeah that's it so um don't forget to like the video don't forget to comment and of course you know what to do subscribe if you are new it's free guys it's free so if you're watching me for the first time please consider joining the posse the terabyte reacts community terror squad yes sir see you guys later man peace